Like somehow they're not all bad. Uh. Couldn't for the life of me explain why though. Sorry for the sudden recording start there. I didn't expect her to start talking there. She's saying that she killed so many shades to save Yona that she started to... But she started to get the feeling that maybe not all of them were bad. Probably because she can actually understand them. But she doesn't under doesn't know that. Because I think her memory of possession is kind of messed up. Thanks to our intervention. I'm kind of wondering, though. I might want to dress her up in... Um... An alternate, I think I'm going to... <laughs> Whirling fucks, whirling blank slash charging blank. That's neat. Okay, options. Let me go other. I'm gonna return to title screen. Cause it's only here that I can actually change wardrobe. And then there's Yoraha type A. Let's do type B. At least I think that's the one that I want. I can't remember. Anyway. Oh neat, and the logos also change a little bit too when, when you're loading. Uh, also when you change the other characters' uh, costumes, they too. Oh, this might actually enable Excuse me. This might let y'all hear the part that you might have missed as I came back from my break. There we go. I can play with this. I killed so many shades when I was trying to rescue Yona. But now I have this strange feeling like like somehow they're not all bad. Couldn't for the life of me explain why, though. So there we go. Oh, you still see her butt when I... Aw, oh, man. Ah, oh, well. I'm just gonna say that it's a time skip, so her costume has changed. Okay, we'll go with that. It's a little bit easier. That's right. Were their mem she won't remember that what they That's right. That's different with her now.
I'm actually kind of curious about the uh, the for the myth place since it's actually right next door to me. I mean, that's actually the closer village. Oh, boxes. I shall partake. Yes. I'll take that herb. Isn't this the forest of myth? Yeah, I got no business here. Ah, dang it. Okay, they're not gonna let me sequence jump here, huh? Okay. I have to get used to the controlling her. This is a lot different. She's at least a higher level than Nier was. Whom I was... I really miss the, the ranged attacks that Vice gave me. are dead, I guess. Uh. Dead. Wonder if it was attacked by shades. Maybe this will be me someday. So the Shadow Lord didn't dead. Maybe this So the Shadow Lord didn't uh cause this shades so the sta shades are still around regardless. So now there's no Popola. At least the infrastructure here still exists. Uh oh. Die, damn you! Die! Hey, hey get back! It's dangerous here! <laughs> I think that's my line, buddy. Thanks for the save. Shades have been on the rise around here lately. No oh, believe me, I want to. Thing is, I've got a job to take care of. See, we haven't been able to get in touch with anyone in the Forest of Myth. Somebody's got to go over there and make sure they're all right. And that someone is you? You will make it ten feet before some shade mauls your ass. I'll go. What? Really? Oh, man. Thanks a million. Oh, wait. You should take these. I'll wait for you around here, and thanks again. Yay, now I get to do the thing I wanted to, since she's right there anyway.
Well, let's see what probably happened to the people there, which is probably something not good. Because this is near. The, it's Good things do not happen to people in near. Good people, bad people, it's all the same. That is the gist I am getting. Hey, anybody home? There's a lot more people here than there were before. What are those things doing here? Wait, did they kill the villagers? What the fuck are these machines? Holy shit. What the hell are the... Come on, more? They just keep on coming. Oh, okay, they're just a souped-up version of the robots that I fought before. Why would robots be coming out of a place like that? Robots... suddenly emerged from the divine tree. <sighs> okay, well... How many more answers we're going to be getting in this? The hell's going on here? What's a place like this doing inside a tree? Oh, well, here's the sound and music I was hoping for. Very pretty. Welcome to the sea of humanity. Welcome to the cemetery of sin and What is this, Persona 2? Yeah, people are manufactured in our society. Who are you? Show yourselves. Remain calm. Do not be hasty. Soon we shall meet. <sighs> Creepy little freaks. I mean, here's the thing, like, all of us as humans nowadays live artificialized existences. I mean, and these characters are organic. They they seem to live, breathe, uh, age, die, do all the organic life shit, and they have uh, thinking, ability, and feelings and desires, and memories. Yeah, I think they're a reskinning of the uh, the robots from the military base, but they look nicer because you can't see the uh, outer shell. Yeah, there are those things without their shells. Interesting. Observations of you have been recorded as well. 
already. Do not be hasty. Soon we shall meet. Soon we shall meet. Ah, <laughs> uh, god damn it. Uh, Nier and Yona original memories, probably? From the sound of it. That's my guess here. You guys were just going to be weird. the scenery up here. I mean, they say built to resemble, but I think it actually kind of somehow integrates with an actual organic tree somehow. <laughs> Maybe it should be a wisteria. Boss time! <clears throat> Here we go. They cannot be destroyed. How full of life you are. We don't get anywhere like this. Now then, let us fight. is up with these freaks. I get it. They're us. Ah, I was trying to get. Ah, that outfit is so pretty. Well, wait, if something was just as expected, wouldn't someone not be that fascinating, per se? 
or are they just saying fascinating as expected equals let's see okay those are just la white leaves I was trying to see if I could figure out if those were flowers Interesting. Oh, I get it. Okay, all our save files. I get it. God damn, you're annoying. I get it. I want to tear these freaks apart, eat the pieces, and shit them into a trash can. Oh, they don't have a nice comeback for that. I was hoping there would be. Fucking hell. Please don't be a construct of this we forest. Can destroy it, all the other kinase should disappear too. Got it. I'll take care of the magic circle. You focus on kicking some kinase butt. Uh, I mean, the other kinase butts. Not your kinase butt. You, the real kinase. Yeah, I get it, Emil. Just focus. Okay. Well, I'm not going to put it past this yet. Gosh, it feels like it's been forever since we fought together. This seems familiar. I think there was someone else who used to fight with us. My memories are... Aha, uh -huh, I get it. Okay. So, something that should not be memory-wise is showing up in her. And they... want to grab onto that. Is that a 
a doorway? Please be the real email. Beyond here lies that which was lost. this place at least there don't seem to be any bad guys around Emil I didn't get a chance to ask yet with all the fighting and shit but what happened to you back then and where have you been and why the hell do you have four arms K Kaine I look it's gonna take way too long to get into all that now fine <sighs> I was worried you know oh Kaine but look at us now. Team Camille, back <laughs> together again. Yeah, I guess so. Well, other towers going into the sky, so I'm assuming different memories or clusters of memories. Oh, I see this place. Oh, I love the... Yeah, I see the data corruption. It's like a place mid loading. Trying to approximate what it remembers of this, uh, of that rooftop. Kaine, I. I feel like I've forgotten something really important. Tell me about it. You too? Yeah, I can't really describe it, but it's like my mind is filled with this weird fog. I think I made a promise to somebody? Like, that we would go eat something delicious? <laughs> well then, we'll just have to get those memories back. Yeah! I'll take any advantage I can in this version. So I have no idea what's coming up. I have no idea how long this extra section is either. Oops, that was the wrong button, but... Aw. Oh. Okay. Um... Aha, there's two boxes back here. Yay, okay, have a full heal now. And I rid the world of the box menace. Here we go. Oh, we don't have to speak to the pigeons this time. No hato, no hato fu bo uh, boyfriend for for this. No hateful boyfriends. Let me just check. Is that a box? No. Ooh, pretty. Ah, <gasps> ooh. magical power ahead just don't do anything rash got it got it oh the f same goes for you Kaine. I don't want to be alone anymore yeah Oh, this, this 
Yep. The Shadow Lord's castle? That's what it is. Kaine, I'm sensing some powerful magic up ahead. Yay, they put it together so this I didn't have to. This is a very special place. To you and to the world. who lives and who dies. That voice. It's the one from my dreams. I've heard that voice before. These are your memories. I want to hear if there's a... Aha. Uh -huh. Last time I stopped in mid-sentence and I felt bad. You made it this far because you were with us, Kaime. Damn it. What is this? Shut the fuck up! Shit first! Getting into the idea of the iterations. Shades? Shades. Human souls that have gone. Shut. These shades are that data reproduced via your records. They are the true humans who slaughtered on your journey. You are a foreign entity in this world. A single fucking thing you shitty little ass grabbers have said since we started this goddamn adventure. Ah, <laughs> oh. god damn it, Kaine. You are the best character. She pretty much speaks the mind of a lot of players in games, and honestly, better than some of these, uh... You know, like, if they gave you, uh, Kaine dialogue options in a Bethesda game, they would be so much better. But then they wouldn't be, because Bethesda would write them. But, you know. You never gave us options for otherwise. There was no alternative.
kill shades. That's all there is to it. Yes, this one. One that killed the grandmother. I'll kill you as many times as it takes. You goddamn shit fucking despicable piece of garbage! It's not just her swearing that makes her interesting, it's that she, her reactions to things. Oh, I see. We made this harder. Shut your goddamn traps for one goddamn second and let me kill it already! Shit right here, and you're gonna pay. I won't lose to you. up its magic. Get the fuck down here, you worthless, piss-guzzling shit rag! So I have to just survive, I think. We don't want you. Don't you? Oh. Just leave us in peace. <laughs> Enough already. Please, just shut up. Ah. Uh. Fuck. This is bad. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> oh no. Oh. When Kaine's eyes flutter open, she sees a dozen villagers quizzically staring back. After a moment, she realizes she's collapsed on the ground where sharp stones dig at her flesh like... 
Whatever, that's not important right now. She pulls herself to a knee before rising on unsteady feet and sparing a glance at her surroundings. The fuck, she mutters. What happened? Wasn't I just fighting shades? Her mind races as her hand gropes unconsciously for the blade that has been her constant companion for so very long. Though she can't explain it, it's clear she has somehow been transported to an entirely new world. Well, not entirely new. She recognizes the hawk-shaped weather vane twisting slowly in the wind above her, as well as the small round homes with wisps of smoke drifting in the air. And of course, there are the villagers currently staring at her with a mixture of fear and disgust. Oh yes, they are a familiar sight indeed. She is in the Eyrie. She is home. Is something the matter, girl? Kaine spins around at the voice and sees a woman ravaged by time. Her narrow hips barely seem strong enough to hold her body upright, while the shawl wrapped around her thin frame appears ready to fall apart at any moment. Grandma, is that really you? Her grandmother, uh, grandmother's eyes grow almost comically wide before blinking several times in succession. What's wrong, you fool girl? Is your head lost in dreams? Dreams? Could this be a dream? But it feels so real. But she's dead. Grandma's dead. I watched that goddamn shade kill her. So if, if this isn't a dream, how the hell is she here? Unless those shades killed me too. That must be it. I'm dead. I'm dead, and this is... Oh, stop with that nonsense already. Kaine flinches as her grandmother raises a hand in the air, expecting pain to come as correction for her foolishness. But instead of a blow, her grandmother simply places the hand upon her granddaughter's cheek. The warmth of it instantly spreads from her cheek to her face before filling her entire body with a kind of beautiful light. What's wrong, girl? asks her grandmother. Are you upset? Do you want to go home? Kaine feels tears coming to her eyes and struggles to hold them back. Though she still has no idea what is happening, she knows one thing for certain. This is her grandmother. S Sorry, Grandma. Not sure where my head was at there. Well, just make sure you keep it attached, her grandmother chuckles as she pulls her hand away. Maybe this is a dream, or maybe I'm already dead. I don't know. But either way, I'm not alone. As long as Grandma's with me, that's enough. Didn't I just tell you to stop spacing out, girl? Her grandmother says with a cackle. Here, now, hold this. She hands Kaine a large sack filled to bursting with all manner of fruits and vegetables. Damn, Grandma, this is a lot. Well, it's important to treat yourself every now and again. Besides, these villagers may hate us, but the bastards are more than willing to take our money. We'll lend support as we can, even if they have to hold their noses while we do it. Her grandmother trails off as if trying to remember something, and then slowly turns around. Well, what do you know? In all the excitement, I forgot to buy my medicine. A thin smile wavers on her face for a moment before vanishing into a lifetime's worth of crevices and wrinkles, causing Kaine to take a concerned step forward. No, Grandma, that's fine. You go home and rest. I'll get the medicine. Her grandmother hesitates, clearly trying to weigh her own need for rest against her granddaughter's odd behavior of a moment before. Before she can argue, Kaine charges ahead, ignoring the small voice in her head that's telling her what a bad idea all of this is. Really, Grandma, it's fine. Go home. I've got this. She pulls her grandmother's ancient wallet from her fingers, an act that requires a surprising amount of strength. Besides, you know how stubborn I am. Once my mind is set, there's no changing it. Hmph. <laughs> I wonder where you get that from. Seeing that further argument will be useless, her grandmother slowly turns and begins the long journey home. Kaine watches the figure recede from her vision, waiting for what seems an eternity to ensure everything is alright. Once the frail shadow finally vanishes over the horizon, she turns on a heel and makes for the apothecary. The kind apothecary. Ho oh, there, says the elderly apothecary as Kaine enters the store. Here's for Kali's medicine, are you? Though few villagers had ever bothered to learn her grandmother's name, she and the apothecary were old friends. Perhaps that was the reason he'd always shown her kindness when so many others did not. Uh, yeah, if it's not a bother. Shopkeeper immediately set about his work, deftly pulling bottles and herbs from the shelves and mixing them with a practiced hand. Soon, a peculiar smell begins to drift through the store, one that immediately reminds Kaine of her childhood. There you are, says the apothecary as he holds out a small cloth bag. Sorry for the wait. Oh, and say, that's a fine portrait you drew of your grandmother. It looks just like her, so it does. Honestly, I've never seen Kali so over the moon about anything. She brags about it every time she stops by. You saw that, says Kaine, her eyes narrowing. 
Said portrait was something she had whipped up one day after getting her hands on some crayons. And to call it rough would be an act of purest generosity. The idea her grandmother was displaying it around town makes Kaine's stomach want to sink down to her feet before slinking off into a hole somewhere. You bet I saw it, the pleased apothecary says. She brought it all the way here just to show me. But it's been a long time since I've seen something so wonderful. Kaine's mind begins to whirl. The picture was shit. She was sure it was shit, and yet the man's reaction displayed the exact opposite opinion. Is he just being nice to me? The apothecary, as if sensing her skepticism, doubles down. I could really tell you put your heart into it. It was simply wonderful. Um, thanks, offers Kaine, who just wants the entire conversation to be over. She briefly considers how she's going to make her grandmother cease her little traveling art show, but then realizes that train has likely left the station. Shaking her head to banish her increasingly shrill thoughts, she grips the bag of medicine tightly and turns to leave, but just as she reaches the door, she hears a loud thud somewhere from somewhere back in the shop. Kaine turns around to see the apothecary crouching on the floor. Uh, hey there, you okay? When the man does not reply, Kaine moves towards him. She assumes he just slipped on something, or perhaps hit his head on one of the low-hanging shelves in the crowded shop, but the moment she draws close to him, she hears him begin to scream inside her mind. My leg, my leg, my leg, oh my god, where is my leg? Panicked, Kaine looks down and discovers that the man's leg is gone. Help me, screams the voice in her head. Help me, as Kaine looks on in horror, the man's fingers begin to shimmer and vanish. He reaches out for her with his other hand, only to find that it too is no longer there. Soon his arms go. Soon, then his legs. Then the side of his face warbles out of existence, causing a stray eyeball to roll out of its socket and onto the floor. Hell, says the voice, if it could even be called that anymore. I can't. A moment later, what remains of the pitiful shopkeeper collapses into a heap of ash, releasing a small puff into the suddenly silent air. He turned into a shade. He was he shadeified and then dispersed. As Kaine stumbles back in horror, she hears a cacophony of terror rising up outside. Oh god, what's happening? My arms, where are my arms? Why can't I see? Kaine bursts out of the store and finds herself in a nightmare. Homes slough on s off the sli sides of cliffs, taking up pieces of scaffolding as they fall. Screams echo out everywhere, creating an opera of fit for hell. Villagers run in mad circles before exploding into dust, their clothing drifting away this way and that as it floats untethered through the air. Oh no, it's the rapture! As she stares at the scene, wide-eyed, a single thought suddenly inserts itself into the forefront of her mind. Grandma. Kaine breaks into a run, the crumbling world around her suddenly forgotten. She leaps from one piece of falling debris to the next, using them as stepping stones to cross a world that is increasingly losing cohesion. As she continues her mad dash, flecks of ash are blown into her face, her mouth, her eyes. Ash, 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 buildings and people, all reduced to so many cinders in the wind. Soon she arrives at her childhood home. It was once a place filled of precious memories. A place she regarded in its own oasis in an increasingly mad world. But now it is nothing but a pile of ash. As she gapes unbelievingly at the sight, a faint sound suddenly reaching reaches her ears. Kaine. She's alive. Grandma's alive. With a speed born out of panic, she leaps into the giant pile and begins shoving it aside. It stings her eyes and burns her lungs, but she, she continues on, heedless of the danger. Finally, she pulls a small blackened form out of the darkness. Come on, Grandma, she whispers. We're getting out of here. Without waiting for a response, Kaine gathers her grandmother in her arms and breaks into a mad run, hoping to escape the chaos. But the wave of ash has become a tsunami, and before she can make it more than a few desperate steps, it reaches out with a cruel hand and overwhelms them. Kaine stumbles and falls, sending her and her grandmother tumbling into the ashes. One glance at her feet is enough to reveal the culprit. Her right leg has vanished at a point just below the knee. Oh, it'll take more than that to stop me, mutters Kaine. She clings, slings her grandmother over her shoulder and begins to crawl away. We're going to make it. We're going to live. As she crawls, her grandmother seems to grow lighter, as if trying to magically reduce the weight of her own burden. And as Kaine continues to struggle, she hears a small, soft voice enter her ear. Thank you, Kaine. Thank. And as the voice drifted away, the last pile of ash that used to be her grandmother drifts away on a soft breeze. 
Kaine screams an impossibly sad and lonely sound and begins trying to pull the ashes back to her. Oh, it's like Kaiba. This can't be happening. It can't be happening. But the ashes are mingling with all other detritus from the collapsed village, and soon she can no longer tell which particles belong to who. Come on, come on, come the fuck on already! As she continues her frantic digging, her hand suddenly closes around a piece of soft, ragged fabric, her grandmother's shawl. I knew this place was a lie. I knew it, and I still couldn't do anything. Couldn't save anyone. Couldn't even escape. I just felt the peace in the place, and I accepted it. I wanted it. That's why there was nothing here. No reason to live. No goal. No anything. So this is why I'm... Suddenly a new voice enters Kaine's world. I say, can you hear me? After a moment, the voice calls out again, louder, clearer. Now then, you wish to get him back, hmm? Him, replied Kaine. Who are you talking about? Uh, for the love of all the heavens, I always did know you were a Yay, handful. Vice. Though the voice immediately begins to grate on Kaine's nerves, there's something else as well. A kind of warmth, almost a familiarity. Are you truly so daft that you have already forgotten one of your beloved traveling companions and friends? Says the voice, which causes something deep in Kaine's memories to surge forth. That's right, I had friends and I was fighting to get one of them back. At this realization, a blinding radiant beam of light shoots out across the ash-covered world. Oh, it's Paranoia Agent, I love it! Covering her eyes with one trembling hand, Kaine reaches for it. Do hurry back now, hussy. What is the matter? Do you still not remember? You have not time to become lost in your thoughts. Right. Okay. Let's get him back! Use my magic to topple the beast. I presume you know how to use magic, yes? And give us a show, hussy! I don't need your help to take out this goddamn fuck waffle! Eh, fuck waffle wasn't that great, sorry. Kaine, that's a miss. But you know what? Really hard to tell. Are you sound of mind, Hussy? What you're attempting is extremely. Cram it, book. I'm doing this. I see. Oh, nice. 
Even the abilities are reduced to almost like test form. Let not your resolution waver before mere illusions again, hussy. Don't worry. I'll do what needs to be done. have checked out the village before doing this. tells me what to do. I swore I would be a sword. I swore that I would be your sword. Do you hear me? So I am going to get you back, and I don't care what it takes. Who the fuck do you think you are to just up and disappear like that, huh? I'm the one who gets to decide what my life means to me. It's my life, and I'll do whatever I want with it. So quit wasting time like a brainless fuckwit and get your ass back here now! Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I was going to... I was... Uh, oh well, I should have checked out the village. Sorry, everybody. So, I need to bring back my... Nope, I need to go back to the keyboard. That was the wrong button. Great. I have to cherish myself. This sucks. The correct name.
So I guess my save files weren't actually deleted after all. Interesting. Shit, the tree. The forest of myth. Oh, shit. It's like a giant magnolia blossom. Our journey may have been meaningless. Our past may have been a mistake. But we're not going back. Even if this world comes to an end. Because this... This is the world with the people we cherish. Very lily like blossom there. Ah, why did I take the end? I should have had a. I should have explored that town a bit. I. I pretty much just did the first qu uh, quest that came at me. Still, nice. thing I saved multiple versions so if I really do want to go back I just load to before I had to do that boss fight and then go right back to Kaine again so there we go Mixture of a few influences in there for me.
so it is Spike Spencer for Tyran. Okay. Yokotaro's there. He's the only one who gets his name all caps. But everybody else it's alphabetical. How very egalitarian in some way. In a way, nobody is more important than another person doing it this way. Quirky, but uh, it's interesting. A parting greeting has been added to the options menu. Visit that woman's house to acquire a new weapon. Is everybody here? Present and accounted for. You betcha! Sure. All right, then. <clears throat> Dear players, the game is over, and we have a special message for you. Thank, Thank you, you for playing! For fuck's <laughs> sake. Uh, Yona, why aren't you in bed? Oh, hey! It's my big, big brother. I'm so sorry. I just didn't want to miss this. Try and take it easy on her, okay? Yeah. You wouldn't turn down a request from your adorable little sister, would ya? Popola! Devila! You're here too? <laughs> Looks like you're having yourself a grand old time, sunshine! Okay, who was that? Shut up, Tyrion. You'll just make things complicated. We haven't all the time in the world, hmm? Let us finish what we came here to do. So, it's really gonna be over, huh? Does that make anyone else feel sad? We have to say goodbye eventually. But hey, I'm sure we'll meet again. You really think so? I'm getting hungry over here. Wanna hurry this <laughs> up? Alright. Once again, from the top. Dear players, the game is over, and we have a special message for you. Ready? Ready? One, two, thank, thank you, you for playing! playing. Cute. That was really, really cute. Aww. I like that. So, uh, now I believe if I go to this one, which oddly does not have my. C oh, yes, that's because. Haha. -ha. It's because I used my not because if I had to, if I wanted to do the file that had A, B, C, and D, I would have had to play after doing the the third file on C. I'd have to play through the entire game a fourth time. But now apparently if I go to her place I can get her I can equip her weapon and upgrade it. And it has a story. Let's see what I can do there. Except that means I have to go all the way back here. And I'm not allowed to just jump off to the... Can't just leap a faith to the end. So let's go to her house. And collect that weapon. And it is just the cutest thing ever. Duh. 
just like the kitty that's sleeping on the carpet next to me and twitching because she's dreaming. Okay. that door. I can never remember where it is. Doop -doop -doop -doop. It's, ah, here it is. Hmm. I might want to go back next time and kind of explore more stuff rather than going directly to the forest. <laughs> I guess my weird compulsion to just try to... I wanted to see what was up with the Forest of Myth after those years. I had no idea that was going to be an instant end to my... Uh, oh well. I might go back and do a separate recording of that. We'll see. I didn't assume, you know, the first guy out giving you a mission would be the one for the very end of this thing. You can kind of see the, the portrait in there of the grandmother. You get a vague sense of what she might have looked like, but it's hard to... But I'm guessing her grandmother was black. Take a look at our new weapon. A sword wielded by a woman who loved killing. There were originally two, but one broke in the midst of a fierce battle. That's the excuse. Okay, cool. Well, let's just up update it because its attack power is not going to change. <laughs> So it is quite powerful. There we go. 
Let's go upgrade. I hope it doesn't require m the horrifying materials. Because if so, I will have to then make a separate recording for that. And then at that point, I might as well just make a separate one for exploring more in the Kine section than I ended up doing because I was an idiot. <laughs> oh, stupid me. gonna buy a bunch of iron because I'm assuming it's gonna just be a whole bunch of iron. What can I help you with? Rusted clump. Okay. Uh, what's a quick way to get those? Crap. Can't remember. Come back soon. <laughs> All right. Well, the ending was achieved so far. I will probably make a separate recording for that. So, I'm going to take a quick break, and we'll see what I do next to finally finish out aspects of this game I think I might have missed. Alright, see you in the next section. <laughs>